Coming up on Mobile Learning in the Classroom, Twitter. Hi, I'm Zoe Falls, and today on Mobile Learning in the Classroom, we're going to look at Twitter. So Twitter is one of the those apps for education that I wouldn't have really considered until I started teaching a technology course and started seeing how other teachers were using it and actually hearing my students tell me how they'd seen teachers use it in their own classrooms. And one of the things that I like about Twitter is as a teacher you can set a hashtag for your class and then you can send out announcements, you can send out home homework updates, and you can link out to other things. And it's something that parents can access. It's something that the students can access. And it's a way to kind of extend that dialogue further. And I actually had a student last semester who got really excited when Twitter added Twitter polls and um, showed how you can ask a question. And you can, it's multiple choice. You can set the length of how long you want that poll open. So if you want the students to have something that they look at over the weekend, you can set the poll to last over the weekend. And again, you can send it out and they can respond. This is a really good way to do check-ins. It's a way to not have to do something like clicker. Um, I remember in college as an undergrad, we would have clicker questions at the beginning of class. Um, and this serves a similar function. As a teacher, one of the nice things you can do about this is really develop that professional development network. Um, you can follow other groups that do relevant things. You can connect with other teachers and you can keep track of what's going on in your local learning community. So I keep track of things like digital technologies. I keep track of what's going on at the university. I follow other educators who teach similar courses, who are in investigating similar things. And I'm able to gather that information kind of like a news feed. Um, and then I can find resources to send out to my students. It's also a way that I professional or that I build my network when I go to conferences. I tweet out about what's going on. I share things that I'm doing in research. And it's a really good way to sort of get your name and your research out there. And for teachers in the classrooms, that's a great way to show sort of that moment to moment research you're doing in your classrooms. So one of the other things you can do is you can send messages to individual students. Um, so you can do a direct message to students. You can do direct messages um, to several students. And they can respond. And so it's a closed sort of chat thing. So it doesn't go out to everyone. Um, again, with the hashtags, you can even have your students do a Twitter search. So you could have them search for something like educational technology. And then it'll give them a whole slew of information about educational technology. And some of these things are going to be more relevant than others, but that can help open up a conversation about how do you filter through information that you're given on the internet, even with something that's already pre-filtering like a hashtag. Um, you can do stuff based on top, so things that more people are viewing, um, people that people are following. You can do it live, so for people that are on now. And then you can look more specifically if you want them to find photos related to technology. So Tech Tip Tuesday, there we go. Are you a person who is not good about backing up your computer? That would be my father. Um, but so you can find all sorts of different types of information through Twitter for your students. So for those of you that have done web quests, you can do a similar thing, but through Twitter. One of the other features for especially maybe younger students is and even sometimes older students, is they're limited in the number of characters that they have to respond. So you can really have them pay attention to word choice. You can use this in English language arts and have them focus on being concise in their responses and really being aware of the words that they use. Do they need more words to say what they need to say? And if they do, how can they condense that down into a snippet of information? So those are some of the features that I really like about Twitter. And I've heard stories about other teachers using it in their classroom, through Twitter polls, through sending out tweets about homework updates, classroom changes, et cetera. And then again, as a professional development tool when you're at conferences or when you're sharing things that you're doing in your own classroom. Thanks.